It was really hard for me to decide which new MacBook Pro to go for, especially when there are so many options given by a company like Apple. But in this video today, I'll be showing you guys which laptop I will be keeping and help you guys decide which MacBook Pro is the best for you. Let's get started. Hey what's up guys, hope you're doing well, I'm Ashish back with AJ Techno Freak and in today's video I have got two of the highest spec version MacBook Pros. So this one is the 24 core GPU version and this one is the 32 core GPU version. So both of these laptops have 1TB of SSD and 32 gigs of unified memory or RAM. These powerful machines are really expensive and can be troublesome to decide which model to go for. But before even thinking about buying these machines, you have to ask question for yourself. What is the main motive of buying this laptop? If your answer is only for day-to-day Day task, then these laptops are not for you guys. For that, you can still buy the old M1 MacBook Pro that came in 2020 and it will be more than enough for you. But if your answer is for video editing, photo editing, music production, or any kind of 3D rendering stuff, then these MacBook are the one you want to go for. So, in this video today, I'll be comparing both of these laptops and do some 3D benchmark test as well as some video editing and we'll see how it affects the battery performance which was the main reason that was pulling me behind to go for the 32 core version. We'll see whether the 32 core version drains battery faster than the 24 core version. I have seen so many reviews where people were saying that 32 core with that additional 8 cores will be draining so much more battery. So I just want to see in practical how it affects and whether or not battery drain is significant enough to not buy the 32 core and go for the 24 core version. There are already tons of videos you can find on YouTube on the comparison of these laptops and how it affects the battery performance. But the problem with those kind of video is it is done on an extreme level, not on the level where you would just be doing on a day to day tasks like normal video editing or normal photo editing and how it impacts the battery performance of these two laptops. So I'll just be doing a general comparison with some light uh, 3D rendering test as well as the video editing and we'll see how it affects the battery performance. So without any further ado, let's get it started with the comparison and we'll go from there. So I have fully charged both of these laptop 200%. So the one on the left is 24 core GPU version and on the right is 32 core GPU version. Everything else is the same, 32 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of RAM and one terabyte SSD on this one and one terabyte SSD on this one. So we're gonna start the test with uh, Geekbench 5 first. So let's see what will be the scores. Here I am in the CPU version. So let's run the CPU benchmark. And same thing here. And here we have our results. So we got the score of 1779 on the single core and the 1788 on the single core on the 32 core version. Similarly, we got the score of 12744 on the multi-core and 12760 on the multi-core on 32 core version. So kind of similar, not that much of a drastic difference between uh, these two laptops when it comes down to single core and the multi-core performance. So let's move on with the next test. Uh, that's gonna be this one. So the compute benchmark. So I'm gonna do the same here as well. One compute benchmark. So this one is done and followed by the 32 core version. I started this one a little bit earlier. So the open sale score on the 24 core version is 51,015. Whereas on the 32 core version, we have the open sale score of 59,317. So around 9,000 or 8,000 point difference. So not a massive difference as it is like only 8 core difference. So that's pretty good on both of these laptops. And let's move on with the next test. That's gonna be running the 3D benchmark on both of these laptops. So I have got this Cinebench over here. So let me open that up and I'll also be showing you how much battery each of these laptops has consumed like doing this certain kind of task. I've got few of the apps on this particular MacBook so uh, I hope it doesn't affect the battery life and let's run the test. So I'll try to do that at the same time. So let's run the CPU multi-core. So let's just start with the single core first. So 3, 2, 1, go. Thank you. 
So the test is about to be completed. And I started on the same battery that was on 100% on both of these laptops. It is still on 100%. So that's your 32-core GPU version. And the test is completed. 1531 on the 24-core and on the 32-core, 1534. So not a massive difference, as you can see. It is on the top behind is the Intel i Core 7 with the 1532 and over here 1532 on top and 1531 so three point difference not a massive difference so let's move on with the next test that's gonna be the multi-core just a quick update we are on a halfway on a multi-core test on both of these laptops so that's the 2432 that's the time remaining and look at the battery so that's on 95 percent i don't know if you can see that that's a 95 and look at the battery percentage over here it is still running on 100%. I can't believe this. So this one is supposed to be eating so much more battery than the 24 core version. Now it's on 94. So I don't know what's going on, but all the reviews that I have seen online, everyone says that uh, it's gonna eat a lot of battery, especially the 32 core version. And this one is less powerful machine than this one. It is like really powerful, but comparing that to the 32 core version, it is less powerful. And it is supposed to be draining less power than this one. But as you can see, it is already down to 93%. I don't know what's going on. And as you can see, it is still running the test. So 219 to 15. So the battery percentage is on full 100% this is going absolutely crazy so i don't know what's going on but my 32 core version is getting better battery life than the 24 core version we'll see later on how it goes but at the moment it looks like 32 core version is gonna run a lot longer than the 24 core version so i'll just let that finish and we'll see what is gonna be the score as well as the battery life so that's the main reason i'm making this video so that you can decide which laptop to go for and you are not restricted by thinking that uh, like the higher core version is gonna eat up a lot of battery so the results are out for the multi-core on the 24 core version we got the score of 12,355 and on the 32 core version we got the score of 12,324 so it looks like uh, even though it drained a lot of battery so as you can see it's on 91% and the max is still on 100% it looks like 24 core version 1 on the multi-core score I don't trust these kinds of scores to be honest because this doesn't reflect the real performance that it is gonna give in the day-to-day -day task so if you are using either of this laptop on the day-to-day -day basis uh, to do video editing and photo editing then both of these laptops are gonna be pretty powerful these scores tend to fluctuate time and again as I have seen online that the scores are much more higher than what it uh, came up here in my Cinebench R23 scores. So don't trust these kinds of scores but just to show you guys what it actually can do. I just went and did this test for you guys. So this one is still on the 4th uh, position and this one is on 4th position as well. So all of the average scores you see it is like desktop level PC. It's not like the performance from our actual laptop so to get this amount of power on a laptop while not plugged in is insane so both of these laptops are pretty powerful you'd be happy with either of them and as I have already shown you if you are not getting the 32 core version just because of the battery think again so it's on 90 and this one is still on 100% despite doing all of these rendering test on Cinebench R23. So that's it for the scores. So let's do the actual uh, exporting of the Final Cut Pro on both of this laptop and see how it goes. So I've got a small clip on the upcoming video and this one is five minutes long. So it's the same project that I exported or copied on both of the laptops and it has got like light color grading as well as light uh, video editing and also a music track to go with it and it's on 4k at 24 frames per second from gopro hero 10 
So let's go ahead and export this and see how long it takes to export 5 minute clip of 4K at 24 frames per second. So export file, just making sure the settings is same on both of the laptops and S264, video and audio and standard recording also the audio format is the same so click next and mac test so three two one go so let's see the progress over here and let's see which one finishes first So I'll just hit the lap when it's done. Yep, so it took around 1 minute 25 seconds and 1 second slower on the 24 core version. So it's pretty similar uh, when it comes down to like the export times but whenever you're doing like heavy video editing such as 10 minute or longer clips or something like that you're gonna see a drastic difference so I think you'd be happy with either of the laptop and the one thing that is surprising me is the battery life so it is on 87% and uh, the one on the 32 core version is on 98% so I did all of these tasks 3d rendering all of the scene event scores that you saw previously and it's still the 32 core version is at 98% and this one has dropped down to 87% so this one lost 13% when doing all of these tasks and the 32 core version that is supposed to be eating a lot of battery has only drained 2% of the battery I'm surprised looking at the results but it is in front of you guys it is so shocking but you can see the result for yourself so I think I got the answer for myself so I just wanted to know which one is gonna be the better purchase for me and the only concern that I had with these laptops was how much battery is gonna be impacted by having so much more GPU cores. So as per my comparison as you saw in the video the 32 core version only drained 2% of battery comparing that with the 24 core which drained almost 13% battery. So this is kind of a normal test not where I would push this to the extreme limit but if you are doing like light 3D rendering or any kinds of light video editing then it shouldn't be affecting the battery that much. And as per so many YouTubers they say the base version of the new MacBook should be more than enough for most people that is the 14 inch version which cost almost 3000 Australian dollars and the 16 inch starts at 3750 so that is already an expensive laptop to start with and if you are a creative professional you know that your need of powerful laptop is going to go up day by day and also if you're planning to invest so much money on this laptop then you wouldn't be thinking of replacing this laptop anytime soon I started my YouTube channel shooting 1080p videos but now I am shooting on 4k so that shows that as you grow day by day your need of the proper videos is gonna increase as well and now I have finally crossed 1000 subscribers so I really appreciate your support so keep supporting me so what I want to say is even if you think that you wouldn't be using full potential of these laptops it's better to be safe than never the main problem with the app MacBook is their upgradability. You can't upgrade the internal components of these laptops unlike Windows laptops that are available in the market. They can be easily upgradable but this one if you buy it once that's the laptop you'll be keeping for a long time. So my suggestion to everyone would be better invest a little bit more money now so that you can future proof yourself in the years to come. Also I wouldn't suggest anyone to buy the 14 inch laptop if you're planning to spec it out with the full 32 core version or the 24 core GPU version. The problem with that laptop is with the smaller body it's gonna thermally throttle whenever you are pushing your laptop to the limits and also with the smaller battery life it's gonna take a big hit. The laptop is going to run a lot hotter than the 16 inch version and will also result in fan kicking in early. So my suggestion would be go with the 16 inch version either the 24 core or the 32 core GPU. For the RAM I think 32 gigs is gonna be more than enough for everyone and for the storage I would go with the 1 terabyte. Why I'm telling 1 terabyte version for the storage I'll let you guys know in my next video. I'll show you guys how you can get more storage with the same read and write speed or maybe similar at a very affordable price than paying so much extra on the extra storage option on these laptops. So do stay tuned for that video and by the way a very happy new year to all of you guys and your family members. We are a family and thank you so much 
much for 1000 subscribers i really appreciate your support and hope you will be supporting me in the days to come so i guess that's it for today's video so if you enjoy the content do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll catch you guys in the next one till then have a good one and peace out